Okay, how's everybody doing today? Uh, got some work done in the theater, so I figured I'd show an update. Uh, I don't mean to show you every little detail that's going on, but any kind of significant change. So, we blocked in the windows since last time. Uh, we were trying to figure out a way to hide the glass block windows, but then be able to open them back up. And uh, I just decided to frame them in and get them drywalled. So uh, it's just one continuous smooth wall. And uh, whatever design I do with these sound panels will look really good. And I won't have to keep working around these windows. I mean, it's a theater, so it's, it's meant to be light controlled. Uh, so no windows needed. I started doing the insulation. Uh, I filled these holes a lot fuller with the great stuff foam. Uh, just because I had another can of it. And uh, especially the front wall. This is an exterior wall. So this is ground outside of here. So I really packed that one full. This stuff's kind of funny. It's like a, it's like a brain sticking out of the wall there. Uh, we got blocking in for the TV mount. So the uh, 85 inch TV is going to mount to that. And um, uh, what else? Uh, the, I got the positioning set on the uh, wall boxes here. So the uh, this one is the speaker, right speaker, this one is AC power, and this one is subwoofer. And then we put a block in between here just so the drywall wasn't so thin that it breaks. So it spaces them out a little bit. Uh, up top I got the front highs. Uh, we got Ethernet run. So there's three Ethernet coming out down here for the so they'll be in the rack uh, so those are um, coming from a structured wiring box we found a structured wiring box in the ceiling at work and it's not the kind we normally use so uh, they just said I could have it so might as well organize the network gear in that uh, I put the Outlet up here for behind the TV, extending from the 10 gauge that comes that powers the rack. So the TV, the equipment in the rack, and then both of the subwoofers will be powered from the same breaker. So there's no ground loop issues. Um, I'm thinking about putting a recessed outlet here, just so the plug can tuck back a little bit more. Um, so the TV can sit really flush on the wall. Uh, over here is the uh, HDMI out and then of course a Ethernet for the TV so the TV can stream you know Amazon Prime, Netflix, all that kind of stuff, YouTube without having to worry about or deal with a wireless connection. Uh, so it's going to be wired all the way back to the router. Uh, I know that was a little bit of a problem in my basement before connecting to to the Wi-Fi. And then it would be like, connected, but no internet. I'm like, what, what does that even mean? Then it's not connected. What else are you connecting it for? Uh, but I would get that notification all the time. Uh, put a rat tail here. I uh, got the HDMI run. Uh, just kind of a rat tail of all the speaker wires. Uh, so we can pull that through the drywall when we do that. Because there's so many cables here, uh, we did a separate box for the subwoofers. So I ran coax for the subwoofers, and um, we, uh, you know, sub will be here. Uh, another one on the other side, and uh, one in each back corner. So one back here. And one in the other corner over there. Just in case someday I want to do four subs, I have the ability to. Or if I ever want to put a sub in the back of the room for whatever reason. Uh, and now starts the insulation. 
so um, I got this insulation here and uh, R19 is for the ceiling joists and um, got some R13 and some R15 here I uh, got a big foam board but that stuff's not going to work on this wall when all these cables are there um, so I started doing the back wall here um, it's going it's going pretty good uh, I was doing the most open cabinets or uh, um, channels first you know the joist cavities first I just wanted to show you this foam so I left this one open <laughs> this stuff's kind of funny it's like hard as a rock anyway that's the progress uh, we are going to start drywalling this week so we're gonna do the ceiling uh, so this has to be insulated then we're gonna drywall the ceiling and this part the face of the soffit uh, because the soffit is going to overhang about five inches so we can tuck in LED light color LED light in, up there and a uh, little indirect lighting and we uh, aren't going to be able to get in there with tape or mud or anything or paint so we have to do that portion of the ceiling first then we can build the bottom of the soffit with some uh, birch plywood um, I was thinking that before we close everything up that I'm probably going to try to get an HDMI from the front wall all the way over here because someday I may have a projector and a screen. Uh, I also just put the nail on box for the uh, outlet for a projector um, but I got to pick up some more Romex because we went through over 200 feet of Romex so far. It doesn't seem like it would be. It's a very small room but it goes fast. So anyway, that's, that is the stage of the project. Uh, I'm about to go cook some dinner because I'm hungry. But I'm uh, just going to do some more insulation and then drywall starts. I'll show you where the structured panel is going to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so here is all my wiring here. Uh, so... Uh, here's where my bar is right now. Uh, this is the unfinished side of the basement, of course. Uh, movie collection. Uh, but the structure panel is going to go right here on the wall. So i got to paint that. There's the, there's the panel. And then the door for it. Um, but uh, i got to paint the wall this week. And then uh, we can put the, uh, the structure panel here on the end. So it's easily accessible. And I'm probably going to get some more of this flooring uh, to do the uh, the bar area. But anyway, here's the cables I got at the moment. Uh, this is like an antenna or a cable wire. And then I got the uh, Ethernet. Um, there's probably going to be some more Ethernet too because uh, my office wire's got to go in there and possibly a couple more before it's all done. So anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take her easy.